Right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here again with another case review for you. Now this is going to be a case for the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 Pro. It is from the case company Smartish as you can see here in front of you. This is the Wallet Slayer Volume 1. So with it being Volume 1, that does mean there is a Volume 2. I will be doing that case review next, so that way you get an idea of the pros and cons between both of them. Now, as far as the case price goes, it is $19.99. Where to pick it up is at smartish.com. And they do come in various different colors on this particular Wallet Slayer Volume 1. I believe five colors total. And you do have the ability to personalize the case as well by submitting a picture or something like that and kind of make it your own. So as far as the box goes, as you can see here, very generic box, very similar to the other Smartish boxes. Uh, picture of the case on the phone. Uh, it does say it secures three cards. It's grippy sides and protective. The specific color is Black Tie Affair. And then on the back, it does talk about the YouTube channel for Smartish. And then, of course, a little breakdown about their history being based in Austin, Texas. So for someone like myself being in Dallas-Fort Worth, I was really stoked about this. Now, as far as the case goes itself, it is a wallet case. Now, it does have some extremely grippy sides, so if you are familiar with their Kung Fu grip or their Gripzilla case, then you know what I'm talking about. This texturized material on the side is just awesome. There is a few ridges on the sides as well that do mimic your indentions of your fingers, so that way you do have a nice, secure, snug fit in your hand as well. Now the inside of the case, as you can see here, you have Smartish branding here. You have some ridges here for protection and down here at the bottom. In the corners, there are the air pocket little cushions that act like little airbags when you drop your phone, if you ever do. And then right here is actually where the card goes. So whenever you slide the card in, this actually flexes and resists. So that way it's nice and snug with those cards every time. So let's go ahead and grab the phone and slap it on real quick. So I always start corner to corner, push in, and then just push in all around. And then there is the phone inside of the Wallet Slayer Volume 2. So very generous camera bump cut out there. As you can see, it's very deep back here and very generous here on the sides. So definitely going to help with lens protection when you do place it back down. Now as far as the shake test goes, there is only just a little bit of a shake here on the bottom right hand corner. And that is to be expected considering there is so many different levels and sizes of the back of the case, like these in, you know raised edges here and indentions there. So it's expected to have a little bit of shape. Now, as far as the back goes, it's this very nice material. It doesn't show fingerprints. Smudges might at some point, but that's to be determined uh, with long-term like reviews. But so far I've used this case for about a week and I haven't had any really issues with my OCD of rubbing it down and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I do really, really like the case if it's a, you know, a wallet case that you're going after. Now, as far as the sides go, once again, extremely grippy material um, all around the whole entire phone case. So you have your power button here. You got your precise cutouts here for the lightning port and the, um, speaker grills, volume up and down buttons, and a very generous cutout there for your alert slider. But once again, this material, guys, is really grippy and textured. And as you can see there, you can see the little dips in there for the uh, fingers whenever you do hold it like this. As far as the front goes, has some lips all around the front of the phone. So that way you do have that sense of uh, protection when you do place it face down on any type of surface. And once again, no shake in that since it is all flat around the front it is tempered glass friendly so no issues at all with my tempered glass on the actual phone no interference at all and let's go ahead and do the button test so let's see how clicky they are so let's do the power button first volume up and down so as far as the buttons go extremely clicky guys so if you love clicky buttons then this is a case for you now, as far as the alert slider goes, let's go ahead and check that out. So the alert slider is extremely easy to use. No issues at all. Barely having to use my fingernail. So definitely two thumbs up with that. Now let's go ahead and test out the MagSafe test. 
Okay, so as far as the mag save test goes, it failed. And I think the reason why, an obvious reason why, is because of the hump on the back here. You got this thickness on the back that's gonna house your credit cards or debit card or whatever you're gonna be putting back there. As you can see here, there is a little bit of a gap where your cards slide in. So right there alone, with the thickness of the case, it's gonna make it extremely difficult to get a good solid connection with the MagSafe charger. Now I did one time get it to actually show that it recognized that there was a wireless charger with it, but it didn't give me the MagSafe animation. So that does lead me to believe that it is Qi Wireless compatible, but MagSafe compatible, very suspect. So if you do have a MagSafe charger and you have this case and you have been able to use it as a MagSafe uh, charger, then let me know in the comments down below but unfortunately, it is not MagSafe compatible with my testing. Now, one thing I did wanna show y'all real quick is the cards installation here. So what I went ahead and picked out was just three random cards that I had in my wallet. So my old school TCU ID, um, Zoo membership card, and then some money I got back on a return from Academy. So I have three cards there, and literally I'm just gonna slide them in and push them all the way in. And you do have a little resistance when you're pushing them in, but that's a good thing because it's gripping these cards very tightly. So the cards are not gonna shake out. There's no issues at all. If you wanted to put one or two cards in and then roll up some money and slide some cash in there, then you're gonna be good as well. But what I like is this little cutout here where I can just push them out. I can just push them out, slide them back out, and I'm good. So as far as the three card test goes, passes without any issues. One thing to point out though, is if you do try to do a, a Qi wireless charging or actually try to use a MagSafe charger, definitely make sure you don't have your debit cards and stuff in there just because of the magnetic strips and everything. You don't wanna jack up your debit card. So that is something to remember about wallet cases. But for 1999 guys, Smartish I really feel like just puts a lot of thought into their cases because once again, I cannot say that I don't recommend it. Like I recommend this case highly if you are someone that likes a wallet case. So definitely guys, check them out, smartish.com. This is the Wallet Slayer Volume 1. I'm gonna be doing Volume 2 here in just a little bit, so keep your eyes open for that video. But do hit that like button, guys. Make any comments down in the comment section if you have any feedback for me. And then obviously always subscribe when you can, guys. I really appreciate that. Help me grow my channel into something great. And uh, be safe out there, guys, and have a blessed day.